Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Beth. Obviously, you would have known that anyway. Don't know why I just said that. But this week's video is a boo bow and tea, bow and tea, bow and tea, bow and tea, bow, bow. It's B-O, isn't it? Like my initials. Hold on, I'm gonna get it up. Someone say now. Bow and tea. Yes, bow and tea haul this week. So I went on that. I've never, ever, ever, ever shopped from there. I've wanted to shop from there for ages, but I'm really, really fussy. And I have tried everything on already because I just couldn't help myself. So for this video, I have done what I did in my first haul where I put all the outfits on and taken little snippets and I'll put them in as I go through and I talk about the items that I've bought so you can see what they look like on me, what sizes I've got and what I think about them as we go through. I'm just going to get up my order, see how much I spent and then I can also see the sizes. My mind went blank then. Overall I spent £300, which sounds a lot. But it's realistically it's not that much because if you shopped in Gymshark and you bought one pair of leggings, 50 odd pound, do you know what I'm saying? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sets. Yeah. Which isn't bad at all. I've shopped in Gymshark, I've got plenty of things from Gymshark, and I've now branched out to bow and tea, so here we go. Right, the first items that I tried on. I'm gonna stick in the little clip. I'm not too happy with them, but I love the color. This crop top it's called, it's not a bra, it's a crop top. Let me just get this label out the way so I can show you. It is marked, apparently. And it's, oh, the, yeah, you can't really, Oh no, it's not showing up on camera how nice the yellow is. It's like a, a lemon colour, but because I've got my light on me. Oh, it's really nice. These, this crop top is really thick and it's ribbed. It's lovely, it's got a cross back and then a little badge on the back, which I like. I really like it. I, I love the top on. The bottoms remind me of something that you'd buy from Halster back, back in the day with this little design of the um, ties at the front. However, the ties don't do anything. They're literally just for show. I think it literally just goes in one hole and comes out the other because you can, yeah. Again, the same sign on the side, ribbed. And then it's got, oh, all I've done this week is drop the name. It's got the scrunch bum on the back. I think that the scrunch bum doesn't look right on these leggings. Don't know what, some of them might have a different opinion on me. But because they're ribbed, the scrunch part isn't ribbed. And I can understand that it like goes around your booty, shape, shapes your booty. So it doesn't really like look that different. But I was just looking at myself with them on and I thought, I just don't think they need the scrunch bum. Get rid of the scrunch bum, have the whole ribbed effect over the bum. And I think they would be really, really nice. But I got the trousers in a medium, I believe. Did I get a medium? No wonder I'm struggling to get them on. Honeys. How come every haul that I do, literally something goes wrong? It doesn't even say what size I ordered on here. Well, I squeezed into an extra, extra small. I thought they were tiny, but you know, when you look at something and you think, that's tiny, like, how am I gonna get into them? They were like spandex. I've never tried spandex, so I don't know how, how I can say they're like spandex, but I got them on and they were a bit tight, but maybe that's why the booty bit didn't look right to me. I can't believe that. I got the top in a medium. This fitted really nice. It's also got padding in the top, but because the top is so thick, I'd probably, can you yeah, I'd probably take it out because you just wouldn't need, I, well, I don't like the padding anyway. Do you know, like the bras that you can buy in Primark, I take the padding out of those as well. But I just think the padding isn't necessary in this top because it is such a thick material. 
lovely colour for spring. Spring's coming up. Who else is excited? Because I am. If anyone sees anything that they like or I haven't said the price or anything, everything will be in the description description box below. So the next item I picked up and tried on was this peach unitard. It has a V opening at the front and then into shorts with a nice badge at the bottom. This is really nice on, I'm not going to lie. My mum walked in when I tried it on and she was like, you should keep that for somewhere. But I really want one of the strappy ones and they're not in stock. Everyone, they're just constantly sold out. I got this in a medium again. I find that it's got a more fine, I don't know if you're going to pick that up, a more fine ribbed around the waist compared to the top and the bottom so it does have that structure of as if, as if it would be a top and shorts and it does cinch you in at the waist then but this is really comfortable on i do like the color but i just feel like it washes me out with it even my mum said with a tan it would look really really nice and if i'm honest i actually think that i'd feel confident enough to wear this in the gym it makes you feel good as well when you're wearing it and you don't have to worry about anything coming out in the trial clip, I'm not wearing a bra with it, so like my mum said, it probably would look better with a bra on. Thanks, mum. But I think with a sports bra with the V neck, I just wouldn't want it showing. It comes quite low on your boobs, so if you were wearing a sports bra, you would see the top of that sports bra, which I'm just not too fussed on. I think I'd rather have the strappy one, and if it was supportive enough, then just wear that rather than having to put a um a sports bra on underneath so you don't get too black eyes next set that i've tried on i'm keeping it i'm in love with it and if you know me you know that it's probably because of the color <sighs> i just can't resist myself i also tried these on and i realized that it's probably the same color as my bed right now so these are the power play leggings i think these are new recently onto the website they have this effect through them which it kind of makes it look as if they're blue and green. I actually really love these. Again, they've got the scoot, the scooty brunch, <laughs> the booty scrunch, and these are really, really nice. I think I got these in a medium. Yeah, medium, sage green. Well, it says sage color. I love them, can't go wrong. And I picked up the matching crop top to go with. I love tops like this. I think these tops are so flattering for the gym. And I sweat a lot, so keeps the sweat in. In other words, the sweat don't drip out from the bottom. <laughs> I really do love to out myself on YouTube and on the internet, but there we are. I feel like these tops are quite supportive as well. I wouldn't need to wear a very supportive bra underneath. Or oh, to be honest, I tried it on with no bra underneath and I felt fine. But it depends what you're doing that day in the gym. If I'm on the treadmill, I put a bra on. I think I'm gonna keep it. I bought the top in a size medium. Okay, I picked up another pink set. This is the bra. I love this bra. I got this in a large and I'm so glad that I did because if I didn't buy a large, I don't think my boobs would have fitted in. You can see on the trial clip how um, it supports me. I like this plastic O&T label on the bottom. I think that's really nice. And it's, even though it's a large, and I know that it's probably got a lot of stretch in it, I just felt like this was the most comfortable bra that I put on, except for the one that I've kept on now. Um, and it's got adjustable straps, so you haven't got to worry that if you bought a size that you, but you know the straps are a little bit too loose, whereas the yellow one isn't adjustable. I really, really like this. They do this in a blue and a green, and I was very close to picking up the green as you probably already guessed, but I really like the pink as well. And then to go with that bra, I picked up the leggings. Again, the same color contrast. These are really nice, except for they're double, like, double lined. They're thick, they don't have the booty scrunch, they're just normal leggings. And I think these leggings would be really nice for like outdoor walks and things like that because they are so thick. Um, Again, the plastic boot bow and teeth label on the side, and it's got a crisscross waist, which kind of brings you in, gives you the illusion that you're slimmer than where you are, which is what we love. Well, what, what I love anyway, which is probably really toxic for me to say, but cinch my waist. These are really flattering on, and I do like them. I just was expecting more. Maybe I'm just a fussy bitch. I also picked up the matching two-in-one shorts with the 
bright pink shorts underneath. I thought these were going to be a different material to what they are. These are cotton and the underneath shorts are also cotton. Whereas I thought they were going to be that like lycra, lycra material. I bought these in a medium. I probably would have sized up. But they fit nicely. Again, they have these in the blue and the green. And I do like them, but I think I would prefer if the bottom shorts were in the lycra material because if I was to sweat in these then I'd probably sweat through both of them, not gonna lie. The bottom shorts are very thin. I think the shorts look different to the bra as well, as you can see on the camera. They're supposed to be from the same collection, I think. So that's a bit of a pity. But maybe that's what they're all like. The pink, the blue and the green. Maybe the shorts are different colours at the top. I don't know. Like the quality is there, I just don't think they are something that I would pick out of my drawer and think I'm going to wear these to the gym today or I'm going to wear these out today to, for a walk or whatever. It's a shame because I really want shorts like this, I can just never find the perfect pair. Okay, next I picked up a rust colour set. I really like this set. The shorts I bought are these little shorts with booty scrunch. I really love the colour of these. I really do like these. I think they're very stretchy, very flattering. Got these in a medium. And I also have the sports bra on. Because I just didn't want to take it out. The only thing is, you can see where the, the padding is. So I'd probably take that off. I got this in a small. Which, I when I put it on, I thought, that it doesn't feel too tight. But I, I can feel that it's holding me, you know. It's... I probably would size up to a medium. I only got a small because I didn't want the boob bit to be too big and I wanted them to be supported. However, now knowing that I got a small, I would size up to a medium and I'm debating whether to send it back and get a medium or whether to just keep it. And sports bras like this as well, you can also get away with as wearing, a, wearing as a little crop top without the padding, the padding is really annoying me. But yeah, without, like as a crop top, I think these are really nice. I think I might keep these. I think I'm gonna treat myself. Because it's my first time buying it. I've just gotta keep them to see how long they last, you know? I gotta see whether they're worth their money in the long run. That's what I need to see. The final items I picked up are something that isn't so gym type. I picked up this little cami top in sand colour in a medium it's got stitched on bow tee I love like the rugged like the raw edge I love the raw edge on things and th this top gives exactly that vibe you can see on the try on clip as well probably does need an iron I love this top and then I picked up matching shorts <sighs> no they don't have any um, bow and tee branding on they have a pocket of back and they just feel so nice do you know when you pick up boy shorts and you think Oh my god, they're nice. That's the vibe they give me. I also like the fact that the ties, there's four ties. Two of them are sandy colour and the other two are like a creamy white. And a thumb. Just a lounge round in, nip to the shopping. I don't know if that's changed, but I needed to um, set my camera up again. When I put these on, I thought, oh my god, I wish I could a large because I love things to be baggy. I have an obsession with clothes that don't fit me, basically. They're large, just realised. When you see them on me, you're going to realise that they're not very big for their size, these aren't. Which is really surprising. I'm actually really disappointed in that. Because I don't even know. Do they sell extra large? Hmm. I'm going to have a look now. No, they don't. that's the biggest size. And they, uh, they do not fall big on me. So I think that is something to keep in mind if you wanted to buy these shorts. Yeah, that is everything that I bought. And overall, I'm not majorly disappointed. I thought it'd be worse. I still can't get over the fact that I got into those extra, extra small. They're going straight back. The stuff that I like online that are in the colours that I like are mostly sold out, which means they're popular, which means, which probably means I'm never going to get them. But oh well. If there's anything that you've seen or that has caught your eye, I'll put everything in the description box below. The links will be down there and the sizes that I bought them in. So you know that if you're like a 10 and 12 or if you have a similar body shape to me or whatever, because I've got big hips, then you will be able to maybe gauge what size you like. But if you enjoyed this video, please smash a thumbs up. If you missed out last week's video, 
I'll pop it here so you can go and watch it. I am getting a video out every week, which I just want to be consistent. So you guys know that I'm going to be uploading every Sunday. Most weekends I will be posting at half past ten in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do want to come and join the fam alarm, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can get updates on when I've uploaded and what I've uploaded. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Bye.